They may take Patrick Queen, the linebacker. Could. Yep. Wouldn't hate that. <laughs> Zach Bond, actually. Get, get the hometown guy. Nah. Get the Wisconsin kid. <laughs> is that because you went to Iowa, Mel, or is that why? No, nah, don't give a shit about that. I'd rather have the other guy who's an athletic freak. I mean, I'm sure Bond's fine. Here we go. There the pick go. is in. Roger Goodell is, is waving again. Yeah, come on, I can't, Ty. I can't watch that. That is very uncomfortable. Ty, embrace the future of the Green Bay Packers. They are selecting. Oh, no. The anticipation builds. Oh, no. Read his lips. I'm trying my best. Oh, no, no. Jordan oh! Love, quarterback, oh. Utah State. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Walk it off. Oh, He's out. No. Bro. Bro. Will Aaron answer his phone now? No. 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 We should not call well, him. So you got, I mean. What's the best case scenario for this guy? When does he play? Bakersfield, California. Three years. Three years. Entered yeah, high school in. at five six. He's currently six three. He received one FBS scholarship from Utah State. He threw seventeen interceptions last year, but that was with a new offensive coordinator and nine new starters. Uh, Green Bay Packers fans, I assume, are not happy. If Ty is any indication of the rest of the Green Bay Packers fans, this was a team that made it to the NFC Championship last year. This is a team that's quarterback said last year that he can see hole 18 or whatever. So maybe that's leading to this, but that's a team that gave up 186 yards before contact in the NFC Championship game, drafting a backup quarterback and trading up to do so what a wild move for the green bay packers here aj i'm not 100 percent sure what the hell is going on yeah i mean i guess remember when we talked about earlier like you have to think years down the road i mean well you're thinking a long way down the road i feel like with this pick aaron what has three years left on his deal or four years left on his deal at least three wow this doesn't make any sense to me Jordan Love, congratulations. You get a chance to watch and learn from Aaron Rodgers. And I would assume, by the way, Aaron, who was in this position with Brett, saw how Brett handled it, might handle it a little bit differently. He's a gentleman. He was on our show. I don't fully understand this pick, and I'm not sure Aaron's going to understand it immediately either. I, I don't think oh. I don't think Aaron is going to – I'm not sure Aaron's going to love this. I'm not speaking for him. We don't speak for him. But if you're Aaron Rodgers or a Packers fan or anything like that, you're one game away from the Super Bowl last year, and this seems like you're just – no pun intending, punting this pick into the future. I, I just don't fully understand. Aaron yeah, so it, it's definitely a confusing pick. If they traded up to get to, to Jordan Love, wow. I would, if, they, if they I like knew him, they right? were going to do this, I'd be like, hey, trade out of the first round and build up some picks. If Holy you, Aaron has you four years left. left really on wanted his, him. Four years left on his contract. Aaron has four years left. Just got a text from Sanchez that said, is Aaron Rodgers coming back on the show? We will not put him in that position because if I was Aaron Rodgers, I don't know how I would act. I would assume he's going to be a gentleman. But if he, any way he acts on our show, people will judge immediately forever. So I don't think we should ever put him in that position. But man, this feels like a bad, I don't, I don't want to knock anybody because they studied hours of film for whatever reason. Aaron has four years left in the... They got funches, I guess. Hey, it was different, though, when, when they what brought the Aaron in. Fuck, first off, when they drafted Aaron, when Brett was still there, Brett had – had he already retired at least once before that, maybe? They were both. So I just saw a tweet that uh, when that happened, Favre was 35 and Aaron is now 35. Everybody on YouTube is saying, call Aaron right now. Call Aaron. <laughs> call Aaron. Call Aaron. <laughs> YouTube wants to watch the world burn. Or 36. Jordan Love, how's his reaction here? What's He's got to feel a bit weird, too. He's from Bakersfield, California. Is that near Butte, California, where Aaron's from? Chico? I don't know. They're crying, obviously. Big moment. Happy. I want to let everybody know I'm happy for Jordan Love getting drafted. We all are. Congratulations, bub. But <laughs> Mel Kuyper is not happy for Jordan Love getting drafted. <laughs> Mel, how's the uh, Green Bay Packers fans taking this, pal? <clears throat> Well, good coons, pack your shit and get out of town, okay? Because everyone who's a Packers fan fucking hates you right now, pal. If you're a Packers fan, you know where that guy lives. Show up and pitch for it. Oh, my God. Jeez. Maybe throw a couple bricks or rocks. No, 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 no. You don't. Let him know wrong. we're not fucking happy about this, okay? 
Hey, Mel, you were one game away from the Super Bowl last year. Uh, your team obviously had a couple holes to fill. You basically punt on this decision and go with a backup quarterback for at least four years with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, let's take the only guy who's going to fucking piss Rodgers off. The only possible <laughs> pick that's going to make oh, him fucking shit. pissed at the organization. Schefter just tweeted about us. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was on Pat McAfee's show earlier. No respect for A.J. Hawk. Unbelievable. And said this. We haven't picked a skill player in the first round in 15 years, so that would be kind of cool, Aaron Rodgers said to us earlier. I don't remember him saying that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I no, he did. No, he did. Javon yeah. Walker, last fucking receiver the Packers took. Oh, uh, two. God for damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so everyone assumed they were probably going to take a receiver, didn't they? Or someone to help stop the run. There's a lot of people coming over to our stream right now, and I want to let everybody know we are not calling Aaron Rodgers back. <laughs> we are. That's Ty Schmidt's reaction. Who's a fan of it? I couldn't even fathom what Aaron's is. I'm. I'm being. I'm. I, it would be hard for me not to get onto social media, and that's the difference between me and Aaron Rodgers, by the way. Aaron Rodgers, who has been in this exact position with Brett Favre before, right? Exact position. What pick was Aaron? 24. 20, 24. What was this pick? Twenty six. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty similar. Uh, Brett Favre had, what, three years left on his contract? Aaron has four. This makes no sense at all. 186 yards before contact they gave up against the San Francisco 49ers in the NFC Championship game last year. What, is, what is going on? So unless Matt LaFleur said, hey, this is a guy I absolutely love for the future whenever Aaron's done, whenever it is, I don't think I'll ever find another guy like Jordan Love maybe next year or the year after that. I don't think there's any humans that are going to come out that are good as Jordan Love. I have no idea how this makes any sense. This makes no sense to me at all. Everybody still in here is call Aaron, call Aaron, call Aaron, <laughs> call Aaron, call Aaron, call Aaron. We can't call Aaron because I don't want to set the narrative for how Aaron Rodgers has responded to this. That is up to him to do on his own time. If he wants to come on McAfee and Hawk Sports Talk maybe next week or following that after he's let it, you know, kind of dive, dial through it all, we'll do that for sure. Well, you, we don't know the most, like, annoying thing probably for a guy like an Aaron Shoes right now. Yeah, he's got to be like, okay, whatever. doesn't really make sense. But it's got to be everybody else asking him questions. I mean, maybe – He's he's in his house now with the quarantine, so you can't go out and about. You don't have to deal with like the the beat writers every single day. But that would be the most annoying thing is the billions of questions you're going to get about this draft pick. I mean, I have a lot of questions about this draft pick. Yeah, I have a ton. I didn't. It, yeah, I don't know. A maybe maybe some questions. other people had this on their mock. I definitely didn't. Bro, what is, <laughs> what are they doing? Just hey, we had this draft too. It was just kind of going like a uh, little drop down, like the Raiders pick too. Uh, okay, all right. Oh, the Eagles pick too. Uh, okay, here we go. And then all of a sudden, Matt Lafleur and Gutekunst or whatever his name is said, "We got you, bang!" Oh, oh, no, 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 no! You think it's a good draft? No, you think everybody's making good no, decisions? We can fuck it up just like this if we wanted to. And I respect him for that. I, somebody had to do it, yeah. and we appreciate it. Woo, woo. Somebody had to do it, and they Jeez. said we'll be the ones that do it. Look good, feel good, feel good, play good. Play good, pay good, pay good, live good, live good, die good.